Struggling to choose between Motion, Sunsama, and AkiFlow, with so many productivity apps promising to optimize your workflow, picking the right one can feel overwhelming. In this video, I'll break down the key differences between these three top tools, Motion, Sunsama, and AkiFlow, so that you can find the perfect match for your personal productivity style. First, let's see what Motion, Sunsama, and AkiFlow have in common. Each of these apps is designed to help you schedule tasks, manage your workload, and improve productivity. Whether you're planning your day or tackling long-term projects, they give you a structured way to stay on top of things. They also integrate with calendars like Google and Outlook, helping you align work and personal schedules so you don't accidentally overbook yourself. Another key feature that each of these apps share is time blocking. If you're the kind of person who likes to plan out your day hour by hour, all three apps let you drag tasks into your calendar to create a clear schedule. And most importantly, they all aim to reduce cognitive overload, meaning less app switching, fewer distractions, and a smoother workflow. No more juggling between Notion, Slack, and your inbox just to figure out what to do next. But here's the thing, they all take a completely different approach to getting things done. One uses AI to schedule your tasks automatically, another guides you through mindful daily planning, and the third focuses on speed and integrations to make everything flow effortlessly. So how do you know which one fits your workflow the best? Let's break it down. The main point of this comparison is to show how Motion, Sunsama, and AkiFlow help you manage tasks and projects, because while they all serve the same goal, they go about it in different ways. First up, Motion. This one's a keeper if I don't want to spend time manually scheduling every task. I simply add tasks, set deadlines and priorities, and Motion's AI automatically arranges my schedule to fit everything in. It even shifts tasks around if, say, a last-minute meeting pops up. Motion supports Kanban, lists, and calendar integration, so I can still organize tasks visually if that's my style. But the real magic is in its AI rescheduling. It's like having a smart assistant that constantly optimizes your day. However, if you're someone who likes full control over when and how you work, Motion might feel a little too hands-off. You have to trust the AI's decisions, even if it schedules deep focus work at 8 a.m. when you're still half asleep. Now, let's talk about Sunsama and AkiFlow, which take a completely different approach. Unlike Motion, these two apps put me in full control. No AI auto-scheduling, just structured intentional planning. Both let me manually select, organize, and schedule tasks based on my own workflow without any automation getting in the way. Sunsama is all about mindful planning. It integrates with Notion, Asana, Trello, and ClickUp so I can manually import tasks and organize them into a daily structure that feels realistic and intentional. The app even warns me if I'm overcommitting, like a productivity coach nudging me to slow down a little bit. Meanwhile, AkiFlow focuses on speed and efficiency. Instead of manually selecting tasks, it automatically imports action items from tools like Gmail, Slack, and Notion. So if someone pings me in Slack with something to do, it immediately appears in my task inbox ready to schedule, a huge time saver. However, both Sunsama and AkiFlow have downsides. Sunsama has no AI automation, so everything has to be manually planned. And the AkiFlow setup, because of all the integrations, can be kind of overwhelming for beginners. Verdict? If you want AI to schedule tasks for you, Motion is your best bet. If you prefer a structured, intentional planning experience, go with Sunsama. And if you want deep integrations and fast task processing, AkiFlow is for sure the way to go. And if you've already decided, you will find the links for each of these productivity apps in the description below this video. Now let's talk about time blocking, because knowing what to do is one thing, but actually scheduling it into your day, that's where these apps can really help. With Motion, I don't have to worry about dragging tasks into my calendar if I don't want to. It does it for me. The AI takes my tasks, meetings, my deadlines, and creates a fully scheduled day without me lifting a finger. The best part is, if plans change, say an urgent meeting pops up, Motion instantly reschedules everything, making sure nothing gets lost or forgotten. Nonetheless, some people don't like how much control Motion takes. If you are someone who prefers manually choosing when to do tasks, Motion's AI scheduling might feel a bit restrictive. Now, if you like the drag and drop approach, Sunsama and AkiFlow let you do just that. You can manually block time on your calendar, structuring your day exactly the way you want to. They differ slightly because, for instance, Sunsama helps me track my workload, warning me if I've scheduled too much. AkiFlow, on the other hand, has batch task scheduling, meaning I can group similar tasks like responding to emails into one focused time block. 
The downsides here would be that Sunsama requires a daily review, which takes time, and AkiFlow's batch scheduling takes getting used to. So here's my final verdict on time blocking features. If you want a fully automated schedule, Motion is your best option. If you like manual planning, then go with Sunsama. And if you want fast, shortcut-driven scheduling, AkiFlow is ideal. And now let's take a look at how easy these apps are to use, because the best productivity tool is the one you'll actually stick with. I nominate Motion as AI-driven simplicity. With Motion, once you trust the AI, it's actually easy to use, but that's the catch. You have to let go of manual control and let the AI decide when you should work on things. On the other hand, Sansama is hands down the easiest to learn. Therefore, I nominate it as the most beginner friendly. The drag and drop interface makes it intuitive and its guided planning process helps you structure your day without stress. However, the mobile app isn't particularly great. It doesn't include extensive daily and monthly planning features, only adding and rearranging daily tasks. So if you're often on the go, this could be frustrating. Then there's AkiFlow, which has the steepest learning curve of all three apps. I nominate it the most advanced, but powerful. If you're a power user, it's worth it. For example, the command bar lets you control everything with keyboard shortcuts, making scheduling lightning fast once you get the hang of it. The one con here would be, if you're not familiar with keyboard shortcuts or deep integrations, it might feel a bit overwhelming at first. Also, each application boasts certain cherries on top, their proprietary standout features. Motion includes a built-in advanced booking system that lets people schedule meetings based on my availability without double booking over important tasks. Sansama features a focus mode and Pomodoro timer that may help me stay on track without distractions. It's perfect for deep work. And finally, AkiFlow has the previously mentioned command bar that makes everything keyboard friendly, letting you schedule tasks in seconds without even touching your mouse. Now let's talk about pricing plans. Motion offers three pricing tiers depending on whether you're using it solo or with a team. The individual plan is billed annually and gives you access to AI-powered scheduling, project management, meeting booking, and calendar automation. The business standard plan is also billed annually and is designed for teams under 15 users. It adds team project planning, workflow automations, and AI-powered project tracking. Moreover, the Business Pro plan is designed for large teams, meaning 15 plus users, and includes advanced reporting, enterprise-grade security, Zapier and API access, and even a dedicated project management expert for onboarding. And finally, a seven-day free trial is available for those seeking a tryout before choosing a plan. Now, Sansama takes a straightforward approach with just two subscription options after a 14-day free trial, no credit card required. The first plan, yearly subscription, is billed annually for full access to manual planning, integrations, and time blocking. And secondly, monthly subscription is for those who prefer to pay month to month. Finally, AkiFlow is the priciest of the three, but it's packed with task consolidation and deep integrations. It offers a pro monthly plan, build monthly, which includes unlimited integrations, unlimited tasks, and a one-on-one -on -one coaching call to help you optimize your workflow. AkiFlow also offers a pro yearly plan, build annually, giving you everything in the monthly plan at a 44% discount. In AkiFlow's case, there's also a seven day free trial available. So stop dawdling and check out the links in the description below. You'll find direct links to Motion AI, Sunsama, and AkiFlow so you can explore them for yourself. So after all that, we've been to the point you've been waiting for. Which one should you choose? Well, it all comes down to how you like to manage your time. Choose Motion if you want AI to handle your schedule. It's perfect for those who want automation and team collaboration features to optimize productivity. Choose Sansama if you prefer structured manual planning and value work-life balance. It's great for mindful productivity and making sure you don't overcommit. And choose AkiFlow if you need a powerhouse of integrations. It's the best for consolidating tasks from multiple platforms and scheduling everything quickly with shortcuts. That's it for this comparison. Now, I wanna hear from you. Which app do you think fits your workflow best and why? Drop a comment down below and let's discuss. And if you're ready to try one out, you'll find all the links in the description. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more productivity tool breakdowns. See you in the next video.